Good evening and welcome to Wellness Warriors. And tonight, you know, we are working on how food can be your medicine and let medicine be your food and how you can release unwanted weight. And there is an issue that continues to come up. And no matter how many times I talk about it, it, it tends to still be an issue for a lot of people. And that's how much protein should you eat. And protein is not bad. Protein is really not going to make you fat. Protein in some ways is self-limiting. You're only going to eat so much of it over time because it really does fill you up. Carbohydrates, on the other hand, are something that you can eat and eat and eat usually, and they don't fill you up, and they bloat you, and they put on pounds. But protein is not that way. And one of the really important reasons for taking in protein when you are reducing weight is that if you don't get enough protein in the calories, then your body will stop, start breaking down its own proteins, i.e. the heart. Um, people who have anorexia nervosa, even after they recover, will oftentimes have heart problems. And those of you who are old enough to remember Karen Carpenter, she was anorexic. She went into, she got into remission and she was living her life and she died at 29 years old of a massive heart attack because of the damage that was done to her heart. So when you're, when you're reducing your weight, it is so important and your brain needs protein. Just this past week, I was working with a young man who was really struggling in school, had never struggled before. And then I talked to he, he and his mom and he was only getting 10 to 13 grams of protein per day when he needed 60 to 80. And so we made some changes. Now he was able to put in some carbs because he was well underweight. But the protein, it, it is so important. If you've got a kid that's been diagnosed with ADHD or if you're an adult who maybe never got the diagnosis, but you think I don't concentrate well, work on the protein. Senior citizens, I'm one of those now, um, we need our protein. Our protein helps with that memory. So you want your protein to be 0.73 to one gram per pound that you weigh. Athletes, heavy exercisers should do 2.2 to 3.4 grams of protein. Um, now that's per kilogram, one to 1.5 per pound. So you can calculate that up. The heavier you are, the more protein you can eat. And again, it is self-limiting. And tonight I'm going to talk to you about some ways to get more protein in. Now, one of the first things to do is eat your protein first. Don't wait, make the protein first. So when you're having a meal, if you're, if you're a meat eater and you're going for the chicken or if you're going for the beef, whatever it is, eat that before you drink water and before you have any carbohydrate. And then see how you feel and add in your vegetables and all of that. That's really helpful. Um, this this is a plan and if you do this you and and you know go from the protein to eating the veggies and when you're feeling full just stop and see what happens with that now if you're a meat eater i named those i'm very much into the beyond burgers um i really like the imagine chicken better but those are two fabulous ways to get about the exact amount of protein you would get if you were eating meats. So remember, proteins first. Now, now I don't prescribe to people eating dairy. Um, most people do better without it. But when you went through the Whole30, if you went back to doing dairy, then cheese is a good snack. Um, you can have the cheese sticks, you can slice it however you want. It is a very good source of protein if you're going to do dairy. Now, I just got off a call with, with a mother with a child who has ADHD, and she's got a wonderful husband. He cooks breakfast for the child every morning. And then she was telling me how the child's struggling, struggling in school. Do they need to go on meds, blah, blah, blah. I said, what does she eat in the morning? Well... Her dad made her homemade cinnamon buns this morning. And 
Friday, he made her French toast. And <laughs> Thursday, what was Thursday? Um, oh, it was pancakes. Well, I talked about some ways that you can make those things with almond flour, but instead of doing those things, replace those things with eggs. I've talked about it before. Eggs are a great source of protein, and as long as you're getting free range, truly free range, you're not going to know that unless you're getting them from the farm, the true free range, they are a great substitute and they will not raise your blood sugar. They'll give you a lot of protein. And the other thing is they are full of omega-3s, which are great for focus for those ADHD kids. And they're a great way to add protein. Now, another fun one is put chopped almonds on your food. You know, chopped almonds, you can put them on anything. They're great on string beans. They're good on broccoli. Um, you can put them over any food that you want. And the, the oil of the almond is very good for you, and it's going to satiate you more, and it will add that extra protein. Also, if you are a dairy eater, Greek yogurt with no sugar added, it is also a good way you know, if you had a seven ounce serving of Greek yogurt, you get 17 to 20 grams of protein in it. So if you're doing the, but don't add any sugar to it and just have it plain. Not even the sugar that you. That yeah, well, you can add, yeah, you can add some stevia. You can add some okay. stevia, just no regular sugar. Okay. Because, and all the yogurt, even if you buy the Greek yogurt that's sweetened, they add a ton of it in there, so it loses all the good. But you can add, you can add the stevia, you can add the monk fruit. Have a protein shake for breakfast. Now, I'm going to make a confession because I don't usually eat after five o'clock, but tonight is a game, and I am so excited about this game, <laughs> that I chose to have a shake for lunch. And I had a shake late this afternoon, and I'm going to make my guilty pleasure. It's a buffalo chicken dip. It's Whole30 approved, and I'm going to eat it with my carrots and my um, celery sticks. Um, I saved it because I want to enjoy that during the thing. But protein shakes are fabulous. I always do a protein shake. It's going to be the first food that I have every day. I use my Vital Balance, and I really love it. And it's got 20 grams of protein. And if you have a shake and you add that 20 in, that's a great way to up your protein. My brother is doing one in the morning and he's doing one in the afternoon. Um, include a high protein food with every meal. I find that a lot of people are doing proteins twice a day, but not three times a day. So however you wanna do it, and I mean, you could do it with uh, lean meat each time, Shoot, you could do it with the Beyond Burgers or the Beyond Chicken. It doesn't matter, but make sure that you've got those high-protein foods at each meal. Um, you know, uh, T-bone steaks are good. Um, sirloin steaks are good. Avocados are great because they're high in protein and they're high in the good fats. Um, but Think about the meats, if you're going to be eating the meats, the meats that you can get the most protein out of. Now, peanut butter, almond butter, cashew butter, um, those are great ways to add extra protein. And a lot of my kids with ADHD, I, I don't want them doing a lot of carbs and I don't want them eating the crackers. And a lot of them are just not into putting it on um celery which i think is a great way to have those but i will tell them just to get the 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 nut butter and have a couple of tablespoons of it you can do that anytime now about three in the afternoon i've talked to you all about this before that's the lowest point with your protein every single day so knowing that going and getting a you know a tablespoon or two and having that at that time you might you will probably find that that invigorates you and gets you ready for the rest of the day and you're going to go ahead and have your protein for supper that's really important jerky is good now you want a jerky that does not have sugar added and um i don't have it in here i've got one in the kitchen 
but at Costco, they have jerky that they call it keto jerky, I believe, but it doesn't have any sugar added to it. And it's really tasty. And and having some of those that you have as snacks, that's, that's a really good way to add it up. Um, but be careful, because like I said, most of the jerkies and things like that have sugar added. So you've got to make sure about that. Again, if you are a cheese eater, cottage cheese is a great way to add more protein. Um, a 2015 study showed that cottage cheese is as filling and satisfying as eggs. So if you if dairy is not a problem for you, then that's a good way to go. Edamame is basically soybeans and i really like edamame now if you have a history of breast cancer then i don't really in your family i don't really recommend edamame because it is soy and it is not fermented if you don't have that history then edamame and edamame is really good and having it occasionally is not really you know a big problem but there's 19 grams of protein in a one cup serving. Now, a tip for when you're gonna have edamame is don't buy the edamame that's already out of the shells. Buy the edamame in the shells, heat it up, and then as you're eating it, open it up and eat it. Because any time that you have to shell something or it's more work to do, you're gonna eat it slower, and your body is gonna send you the signals that you're full. And that is so important. You know, we all are in our fast paced lives. And even when we're trying, it, it's really easy. And I'm telling you, edamame, just these little green things and they taste good. And I mean, if you buy those things shelled, you can go through a cup in, in just moments. And the problem with that is you're gonna go through those before your brain gets the message that they um, that, that you're full. Canned fish is also a really good way to get extra protein. Um, salmon, sardines, herring, anchovies are one of my favorites. And I'll tell you what, they are great sources of omega-3 and they can fight inflammation. And if you like those little fishes, putting them in a salad is a great way. You could have a protein for supper, but you could add the canned fish to your salad. So if those are things you like, they're really, really good. Now, I try to stay away from the grains, but occasionally I will have a serving of quinoa. And the reason is quinoa is really high in protein. It's an ancient grain that was originally from Peru, and it has a really good flavor. The thing that I just encourage people is a lot of people will get to eating quinoa and, and suddenly they're doing quinoa for breakfast because, oh, it's high in protein and then some more at supper. And it is still a grain. And even though it's got the protein, it's going to raise that blood sugar some. But having it occasionally it is another good way to get your protein in. Where do you get that from? Quinoa, you can get it at any grocery store. They have oh. red quinoa. They have a, a, a kind of a grayish looking quinoa. They've got black quinoa. And, um, and it's really, really good. It's, it's, it's quite tasty. So you can get it at any grocery store. When you get it, be sure you wash it before you boil it. Um, and if you cook it very similar to rice, um, it's, I really, when I, I like to do it occasionally as a, basically a dessert. I'll make the quinoa and I'll put toasted pecans and some um, either raisins or um, some dried cranberries in it. And it's really delicious. Um, it, it's good. You can, now you can add small amounts of it to a salad to also make it, it's quite tasty that way too. You've got to invite us back because these are all new 
And, well, and, you know, and, I was thinking about this weekend when I was when I, I, I was cooking for Saturday because we had a, a bunch of friends came over and I said, I got to get the girls back over and we got to do some more cooking because, you know, I love storing things up in the kitchen and sharing them. So that's coming. I I got my kitchen cleaned out now and I've got it back to normal since my dad's been there. And so now the living room is next. And once I get that, then I can let people back in the house again. All right. So so we are getting there. But remember, protein is going to raise your metabolism. If you don't get enough protein, even if the calories are high enough, your body's going to break down some of its own protein. Protein is a building block for just about everything in your body. It is absolutely essential. And if you don't get it and you don't want to break down muscle, you know, that's one of the things that is good to watch. And a lot of your scales will let you know what your protein level is, what your muscle level is. Because if you are reducing weight and your muscle is going down, this is not a good sign. You want the fat to be going down. So if you've got a scale that does that, I'm going to ask you to look at those numbers. And if you are losing muscle, then please reach out to me and talk to me because we need to make some changes. Um, when you do things the right way, you can actually gain muscle while reducing weight. But you got to have enough protein. Um, like I said, I, 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 I've just become now the one exception to that. And I've talked to you all about this before is if you have a kidney condition, if you've ever been told that your kidneys are failing or you need to watch your kidney function, then you cannot, you're going to have to watch your protein. And actually your doctor should have told you about how many grams of protein you can have a day because failing kidneys having too much protein is not good for them because when your kidneys are not working right, you'll do what we call spilling protein and you don't want to do that. So that's the one exception. But if you've got a problem with that, a doctor has let you know and they're monitoring your renal function. So any question about the proteins? No, all is good. Okay. Let's hope that those Carolina boys had plenty of protein today. Oh, yes. <laughs> and plenty of carbs, because I'm going to tell you, they're playing Kansas, so they're going to be running and gunning tonight. Oh, yeah, it's going to be. The big boy's still hurting. They, they got the camera on him. He's still gimping. Oh, Lord. Well, you yeah. know what? Yeah. Oh, it's 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 in God's hands, and everybody's going to do well, and we're going to be happy no matter what. It, we... One of the things about being Carolina is we were never supposed to be there. So however well we do, we made it to the dance. <laughs> yeah. It's true. That's true. They hey, uh, how Kimball, cool I want to send you, I've got some, some test results that came back. I had my, okay. what do they call it? A senior wellness thing, Medicare mm -hmm. wellness thing. And she took my blood and I'm trying to figure out where I'm picking up sugar. I don't drink iced tea, sweet tea soda pops or anything like that. I don't put sugar in anything. I use the monk fruit. I don't eat white bread and all that stuff. I'm trying to figure out where I'm picking up the sugar from. Okay, Donna, you and I need to schedule a call uh, okay. to talk. So send me the information and send me some times you've got available and we'll do a Zoom this week. Okay. All right. All righty. And Nada, you need to get up with me the same thing because we need to schedule a talk this week. All righty, ladies, I'm going to run and get me some food together for my game tonight and go heels. Dr. Kimball, just quickly. Yes. Yes. Do you happen to have any of those um, water bottles at your house? Remember, we ordered them for yeah. the yeah. special. Uh -huh. They canceled mine because I changed my address and I didn't find out. And they're not going to be here until after I leave to go on vacation. So I was Where are you going on vacation? Leaving Thursday morning. Okay, I think I've got two. Let me look and I'll get back with you. And I'll get to the, give you the two that were ordered when we get back. Thank you. That'll be perfect. I'll get okay. in touch with you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.